Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, or the dog gets it! The main reason that I play Minecraft Bingo is to try to organize my thinking processes, to routinize, which means to make routine how certain things are done, like tool building, sort of thing. to work on my memory, to work on symptoms of PTSD, such as blanking out, literally blanking out when I'm under pressure or startled, or having physiological triggers of too much adrenaline, terror, that sort of thing. I need to be gentle with myself while I'm doing this. Like I said, a lot of people, I watch videos and, oh, I'm an idiot, oh, I'm so stupid, oh, I'm a dummy, and I'm like, no, no, don't do that to yourself. Uh, so, for me, bingo is part of the therapy of the gaming that I do with Minecraft to improve my PTSD symptoms and the effects of the brain injuries that things like memory, organizing, confusion, organizing, adrenaline. This was not a terrific run, but it's one of my best times. And I noticed when I was looking over the video that I'm, that I was being pretty hard on myself. Oh, you didn't need to do this, you didn't need to do that. And as I even started making mental notes about how to, um... One of the things I did was I thought I picked up sand there, and I didn't. Um... And I beat myself up for it, because I didn't pick up sand. Really? That looks interesting over there, but this looks more interesting here. Um, the way I'm playing the card is, I know a lot of people sit around and they go, Oh, well, if I do this row or that column or this diagonal, you know, that kind of thing, they plan it in advance. And I kind of look at the card and I get a kind of a good idea where the best parts would be. Like, the fourth column, that's going up and down. The third column, that's a pretty good one too. Um, the fourth row, that's going from left to right. And even the top one, but, you know, slimes are really hard to find. I don't know why. I don't know if there's slime chunks down in the basement. I know it's hard to find them sometimes up in the swamps. Sometimes it's hard to find a swamp, you know. Jungles are always problematic. You never know if you're going to find a jungle. I don't know why. You used to couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting a jungle, you know. So in this game, partly because of this, look how deep that is. I can't even see the bottom, not even when I put a torch down there. I don't know why, but partly because of this, how am I going to get down there without dying? And I think I remember that there, there was a zombie sound down here too. Uh, like I said, I've always got the volume off when I'm recording these narrations. So see, I can't see the bottom. Look how far down I am. I can't see the bottom. So, it's not like I'm going to just jump down in there. I wish I'd built a better staircase. Uh, so that I could get back up quicker. I did a pretty good job mining out this iron so that I wouldn't fall. Checking blocks below me. So I wouldn't break my neck. Wish I'd put a few more torches. Oh, I did. Okay. Because I don't want dark video. Give me some coal. So I'm still kind of rough on myself, and part of that is because I compare myself to other people. Um, I dug that out, and there is iron back there. I'm thinking there might be a spawner that might have something to do with that zombie. I wish I'd gone into, what's it called? Spectator mode. Um, game mode 3. And just kind of tootled around to see what was there, because I bet there was a zombie spawner there. Um, where that iron was, where I dug that poke hole and found that iron. So I was clumsy about getting down, and that made it hard to get back up when I was done here. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have spoiled it. Spoil well, anyway, I did come back up here. Um, or if I had taken some of that iron, I'd smelled it and gone outside and dipped me up a bucket of water. 
Because obviously there's plenty of iron here. You know, I'm not going to be hurting for iron. I could build two of every iron thing on the card and still have iron left over. So I got kind of rough with myself when I looked over this video. Uh, and I just need to know that... Uh, I don't have to be fast. I have to not give up and I have to play well. And I have to take whatever time it takes. See, in gaming there's this culture, <clears throat> this cultural expectation that people have to act like heroes, you know, like in the comic books. Literally, like in the comic books. And pretend to be somebody they're not and pretend to be stronger and smarter than they are and, you know. And they're hard on themselves and they're hard on each other. And that's not my thing. That's, you know, I, I like to participate in the culture of gaming, but there are some things about gaming that I don't want to participate in. And there's no reason why I have to. There's no reason why anybody has to. It should be voluntary, not um, obligatory. Uh, I don't know how this card's going to turn out, so I'm collecting a little bit of everything. My cat wants down. It's some tear holes in me. Of course, the minute I get on the headset and start recording audio, she's got to get down. Don't you, fatty? Don't you, Fatty? She gave me a dirty look like I did something wrong sitting here. See, she sleeps. There's a filing cabinet right behind the chair where I'm sitting. And I put a pillow in it for Fatty to sleep in. And ow, ow, ow. And now she needs to go outside or get a drink of water or something. Yeah, she got down. She only, like, I'm only bleeding to death a little. No, not going to go down there. So I need to be, I need to keep doing this the way I need to keep doing this so that I don't end up overwhelmed and so that I don't end up burned out. Remember that trick. Put a torch next to a mushroom and it'll pop right out into your inventory. Uh, no. <coughs> Go and try to get stuff lit up. So cooties won't come out. Now, why did they walk out? They, they went and I was like, oh yeah, and came back. I don't know where the other one ever went. I don't think I ever saw it again. Mm. So I have like 8 billion iron. And it turns out... Oh, I got a cat hair in my mouth. Of course I do. It turns out the only iron I needed was to get the gold. I didn't even go down there. I'm sure there's wonderful things down there, but... So I only needed three iron so I could get the gold because I'm going to end up getting the fourth column, I think. Yeah. So I had stuff to make mushroom stew because, well, frankly, I, I just headed down without any food. Why did I do that? Oh, because I was in a snowy place and there's hardly ever any food anyway. So I figured, oh, well, I'll eat zombie flesh or spider eyes or... If there's anything in a dungeon that I can eat, I'll eat that, you know, or I'll starve to death. Because it just seemed to me more sensible to go downstairs because I had that big juicy cave right there. Now here's where it gets clumsy because I, 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 I don't know. So I don't play bingo like other, well, like some other people play bingo. I don't know how all people play bingo. Not all people post their scores. Not all people who play Minecraft have um, videos or screenshots or post in forums or anything. And so I don't know. I know that I found a group of um, gamers with disabilities. They're not really Minecrafters. Um, but I, I didn't need to take that. I already had a crafting table on it. But uh, I think it might help. If they can tolerate some other differences about me, for instance, when you fill out the thing to be a member of the group, it says, are you male or female? Well, I don't identify as male or female. So I, I would have had to lie, you know, to fill that out. So I never finished filling out my profile on their forums. I thought I needed gunpowder. There was gunpowder on the chest. You know, if I had, well, actually, if I'd stopped right now, I wouldn't have any spider webs. 
if I'd stopped right now when I got the spider web string and looked at the card, I would have seen all I needed was the fist. Well, I needed the bottles too, but I could have sat down there at the shore and cooked my bottles and made my fists. I think I was worried because I had such little health, you know. And <coughs> me, 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 me. so, and I—I I mean, heck, mushrooms. Oh, the other thing is, not all my particles are off. Look, I've got um, mycelium dandruff. There's little floaty things in the mycelium. I'm gonna have to go in. This is 1.8.1 with Optifine. Finally. So I haven't set all my settings the way I like them. I got kind of spoiled. They tend to just reset my settings the way I like them anyway. But anyway, so I didn't need the mushroom soup because I could uh, just um, fish the fish, and then it would have been over, and I wouldn't have starved to death anyway. But I forgot to look at the card. Mm. I'm drinking a can of iced coffee. And it is so good. Bergasms was talking about the iced coffee they have in Australia during um, Brian's um, stream of a game I can't remember the name of. And this iced coffee is very good. I'm not going to tell you the brand though. So I did it. I did it harder than it had to be, but I did it. And for all the times that Brian couldn't find any armor, I mean, any iron. There you go, Brian. So, welcome to Minecraft Bingo by Dr. Lorgon 111 at Minecraft Bingo on Twitter. And I'm walking the wrong way because I can't figure out the F thing. And there's my nose. And I forgot to put on F1 also, so I have a big X in front of my face. Bye. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Click. Who's Gordon? Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and the dog.